Good morning, Facebook and Instagram world. It is your coach, Tanya Gris. And as you can tell, just finished my sweat vest. It's dripping off my face. And got my recovery shake going on. I'm shaking it up. It's Friday, it's Friday. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's Friday, it's Friday. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, I still have energy after 45 minutes of cardio because it's Friday and I'm getting my new internet today, which means shit's gonna work in this house. But today was a good workout. I've been trying to make my workouts more fun because in all honesty, if we don't make the things that are hard in life fun, we're not gonna wanna do them. So lately I've been putting on music and doing dance fest. Today was sing fest why I did my workout. It was Kara Handerwood day. So I just shuffled all her songs. She's one of my faves. And I was just singing away at the top of my lungs because I don't give a crap. <laughs> I don't even care. It was midday and people were walking by. I would still sing. If any of you all know me, I don't really care. I'm gonna have fun regardless. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Deborah. So I do have a topic I wanna talk about today. I usually do. There's some days I don't know what I wanna talk about, but I come live anyways. So, and I'm happy because I'm about to book Alex and I a massage at some time this weekend because he said he wanted a massage, so I jumped right on that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to find a place to book that. So if any of my, um, yes, I did the Shaco dance for you, Tara. I should start doing that every time I have my shake. Um, so I remember the first time I did that, Tara was like in love with my Shaco dance. I haven't done it in a while. So, yeah, can you hear my love? I'm trying to get done quick so you can come home and rest. And if you're really not feeling well, just come yeah, home. Do your thing, good. Well, can I have a kiss goodbye? Love you. Love you. Okay, so, um, my topic today is knowing your circle, or what some people call knowing your tribe, because you need to know who's paddling with you and who's paddling against you. Here's my thought process. You and your tribe are all in a boat. Everybody has oars. You wanna be with the people that are rowing the same freaking direction you are. You want to make sure everybody's lifting you, helping you. Anyone that's rowing against you, you need to throw them off that freaking boat, Just give them a little life jacket, and see you later, alligator. Keep on going. Because you don't want people that are rowing against you. You don't want people that are not focused on the same things you're focused on. You want people that can totally push you when you can't push yourselves. The people that are, are wanting to and willing to lift you up and remind you how amazing you are, remind you the gifts that you have. Good morning, James. Um, so you wanna make sure that those are the people in your circle. Like in that movie, oh God, what movie was it? The Circle of Trust, I Meet mean, the Fockers. You have your circle of trust. You need to be able to count on those people and trust those people. But you don't have to fully lean on them in order to feel happy. But you, want, you don't want people that are against you in your circle because you're not going anywhere. They're just gonna hold you. They're gonna hold you where you are and they're not gonna let you fly. They're not gonna let you flourish and they're not gonna let you make something of yourself or reach your goals. So if you have a hard time knowing who those people are, they're the ones that laugh at you when you tell them certain ideas that you have or certain goals that you have for yourself. They're the people that are never telling you great job or never maybe giving you an idea of something where it can help you better yourself in whatever goal you're reaching for. For example, you know, if you have a leader, you know, like, like if my upline coach wasn't someone to give me ideas of different things to do to better myself, to be a better coach, and they're just like, you know, never check in with me or tell me, oh, that's stupid, don't do it. That's someone that's totally against me, not someone that's trying to better me and someone to, to lift me up. So you need to make sure you know who your circle is. You need to make sure you know who's rowing your boat. And those that aren't rowing, the ones that are drilling holes in your boat instead of rowing at all, or the ones that are rowing against you because they want to keep you in one spot, a lot of times those are the people that might be jealous of your ambition. They might be jealous of your drive. 
they don't want you to succeed. You know why? Because then you're gonna make them look bad or you're gonna become better than them. There are still people like that out there, guys. There are still people like that that want to see you fail because then they feel successful. There's still people out there that they feel good about themselves if they're talking crap about somebody else or they're holding somebody else down. Don't be that person that's drilling holes in a boat, but also don't hang out with the person that's drilling holes in the boat. I know it's a hard thing to do because I know that sometimes the person that's holding you down or the person that's against you can be your family. How do you do that? How do you get rid of family? So it's hard. It's really hard. Trust me, guys. I have to do, I've had to do it. And you do it time and time again. I call that spring cleaning the people in my life. I do it time and time again. It doesn't make it any easier. But it's something you have to do. Stop letting them drill holes in your bolt and let the water in so you sink. It's the last thing you want. What did Deborah say? Oh, you did size. I love size. I haven't done that one in a while. I should add that. I should make my own little calendar for 30 days and add size in there. So much freaking fun. I mean, I've been pretty much sizing it up dance fest wise when I do my regular workouts with my music lately. This week's been a fun workout week. So I do have a call to action for you guys um, for this. I really want you to, you know, you have your circle. The circle might not be huge, but you have your circle. You out of here, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, get it started up right there to show you. You have your circle of people. I want you to make a list of like your top 10 people or all the important people in your life, the ones that are in your circle. And I want you to write next to them the five things that they've done for you lately. And if you can't think of five, that might be the person that's holding you down and I need you to take a look at that relationship and see what's going on with it and if there's something that you need to change with it. And that's a way to start looking at the people in your life. So have a great Friday, guys. I'm going to go finish drinking this. I'm going to say goodbye to my daughter. She's leaving for school. Have a great day. Bye.